Hi folks, uh, just want to show you one other quick thing here with uh, tags. So we went in and we created these tags for the, with our product numbers in them. But the real power of creating uh, tags or annotation in Rivet is with this next command. I'm going to just pull this down here if I can. And so we did tag by category and what that does categorize what uh, tags we want to place. But then we'll go to this guy here saying tag all. So we'll select tag all and then in this dialog box we'll select say we got the cable trays in here, the fittings, and generic. And we can select all of these but we only have these in this one drawing. So and then when we do that, we just go in here and we'll say apply and OK. And as you can see, everything is tagged. So instead of going through one by one, you could just do them all in one big shot. And basically, um, you have to do what we did in the prior video where you have to uh, tag them individually and put them in the proper categories. So I'm going to just show you a couple more things here. Uh, I'm going to undo this briefly here, and then um, I'm going to tag everything once again. So I'm going to go ahead and tag all, and then this time in our dialog box, I'm going to select leaders. And then you can set the length. This is in meters. I mean, this is metric. You can set the, the orientation. I'm going to stay with uh, horizontal, but you can go horizontal, vertical. And then, uh, yeah, so we go here, and that's all good. We'll say leader. Take that again. I don't know why that's grayed out. Oh, and I need to select everything. Well, I'm going to just go with our, so we can do these individually, which is pretty neat. I, didn't, I just noticed that. So I would say for now, let's just, because I don't want to take long on this video, I'm going to go with, Trade tags, fittings, and I think we had generic in here. And then I'm going to give a leader to these and I'm going to say apply and OK. So now if I zoom in here, we've got leaders to all of our tags. And there's our, our brackets, our reducers, and all our families. So we don't necessarily have to have these tags, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can work these. So you can select this, this leader line, and you can pull this and adjust this like so. And if I have this line, now if I go and attach this line or select it, I can go here to my properties, and I can go with leader type here, and I'll select this. I can say free in if I want. And then I can change the orientation here. And then I can go here also here. I can select an arrowhead. So here I'm going to go and say arrowhead. I'm going to say we got a whole selection here. We got an MEP arrowhead. But I'm going to use, actually, we even have a dot, but I'm going to go here and I'm going to use the 30 degree field arrow here. And I'll go apply. OK. And there you go. They all pick up for that type in that category. Now, for this one, let's say this, this, for the, uh, this, do this guy here. And let's, um, you have attached in. And go edit this. There's none now, so let's go with a dot. No, let's not open. Let's do a close dot here. We we'll go apply. Okay. So there are all of our dots for that category. So they break them up into categories, categories, and I can change these to whatever I like. You see? So hey guys, I just wanted to show you this, and this should pretty much wrap it up. And then you can go here and you can make these adjustments. See, like, and you grab the little 
cross you can pull this down then grab your dot and adjust it that way so that should wrap it up with uh, and now this one let's go and do this guy here so let's select it we'll edit this type of leader line so here let's do a different one let's go with um, Uh, let's see what the MEP arrow looks like, field arrow looks like at 15 degrees. Apply, OK, and there it is. So we can move this around here, make this adjustment here. So that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for watching my video once again. And... Um, We've got these other tags, but they don't apply to us. We've got the we, so we looked at the tag category, and of course, uh, we have to set the, up the tags like we did in a prior video, and then we go tag all, where we're selecting all the elements in our model and give them tags. So hey, folks, I just want to show you this. Finish off this video about tags. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody be safe, and until next time, bye.